What's going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video today. All right. So, it's been a little while, so we're going to be making another video. I'm going to discuss some things with y'all, but we got an unboxing, unpackaging, un whatever you want to call it today, and it's going to be a real, real good one. You're not going to want to miss this one, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everybody, so like I said in the beginning, super epic unpackaging to do today. And we're just gonna get this thing ripped open and I'm gonna showcase it for y'all. All right, now this one is one that everyone has been waiting for, for I don't even know how long. And we've all been waiting for it and we've all been anticipating it. Now what's interesting about this, I'm opening up the packaging. It came with no actual a purchase slip or anything which is kind of strange but anyways regardless with all that being said here it is all right the brand new 110th ounce 2024 platinum koala now i'm going to try to get the best view i can of this sorry my hands are a little shaky i don't know why that is but regardless this is the 2024 110th ounce platinum koala all right this is a coin everybody's been waiting for for quite some time I think we had the design released on the silver one not too long ago. So it really hadn't been that long since the silver one was released either. I don't know why the Perth Mint decides to put these out so late, but they really do. But here you have it, brand new, fresh off the press, or the Mint, uh, what do you call it? Is it a press? Yeah, it's a coin press, right? Right, right, right. All right, fresh off the coin press, the brand new 110th ounce platinum koala. Now, I purchased this from Liberty Coin, and like I mentioned, they didn't send an invoice or anything, which is so strange to me, because I feel like they normally would at least send a little sl payment slip or something. But anyways, they sent me the coin, and that's what matters the most. Now, see here we have King Charles on the reverse. What's interesting about that is this is only the second year of the Koala in the modern Platinum Coin series. I say modern because they did make an old Platinum Koala series. But this is the first time they put the king on the coin. All right. So this is a super epic pickup today, and I'm super excited to have this in my stack. This is one that I and many of y'all have been waiting for. And it looks like the Perth Mint has decided they are going to go ahead and go forward with doing the Platinum Koala year in and year out, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. What I'm going to do now is showcase for y'all last year's Koala so that you can get a decent look at the differences and compare and contrast a little bit. Obviously, the Koala series is just like the Kookaburra series in that it changes its design every single year. So as y'all can see here, last year we had Mama Koala with the baby on the back climbing up the tree. Now the baby's a little bit more grown and the baby's out here doing its own thing, right? Pretty cool stuff for sure. So as you can see there, we got the 2024 Koala, and we got the 2023 Koala. Now, y'all know I have five of these 2023 Koalas. Am I going to buy five of the 2024 Koalas? I don't really know. The thing about it is, y'all know that I like to buy whatever's the cheapest, right? And right now, the 2024 is actually the cheapest because the 2024 is just the lowest premium overall on one tenth ounce platinum coins. So keep that in mind. Obviously one ounce coins are going to have lower premiums, but right now y'all know I love picking up these little bad boys and the small koala is the lowest. What's also interesting is the 2024 koala is for sale from Liberty, right? And I bought, I think all five of my 2023s from Liberty as well over the year or so they were released. So maybe we'll end up with five 2024s. I don't really know. But what's also interesting is Liberty actually got in the 2024 Koala. And if y'all remember correctly, one of the other more recent pickups I purchased was this 2024 Kookaburra. 
Now what's interesting about that is I had to actually get it from Atmex on a sale week and I wasn't able to pick it up from Liberty because I haven't seen Liberty actually have this in stock at all. I don't know why uh, the Perth Mint gave Liberty the Koala allotment but not the Kookaburra. So if you're thinking about getting that 2024 Kookaburra, you might just have to pony up the extra dollars and pay up the Atmex tax. But yeah, that's what I have to showcase for y'all is these two koalas, especially this brand new one. Be on the lookout for more koalas coming in shortly from across the world, essentially. But yeah, so what's going on with platinum? Well, I'm gonna showcase for y'all here the reverse of these two coins. Obviously, you can see they're a little different. What's also interesting about the differences is they put a ring around Queen Elizabeth. I don't know if that's to signify the last year of the queen, but there's no ring around King Charles, right? So that's kind of interesting. You, both coins have a $15 face value, but this coin in particular just has the date on the koala side and does not have it on the reverse. It just has King Charles the third, Australia, $15. But this one has the queen's years of reign. So this is almost like a commemorative coin in a way, if you really think about it. So that's kind of interesting. I think, if I'm not mistaken... This coin is supposed to have some kind of a privy. So let's see here. Oh, yep, there it is. Y'all can see that right there. It's the, about the tiniest privy you've ever seen in your life on a one ten ounce coin. I'm trying to get it to focus, but it says P125. So that means this is a privy coin. Why? This is the 125th anniversary of the Perth Mint. So they're putting that P125 on every single coin they make. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about buying platinum as well. This coin is going to be a little bit more collectible, I think, than this one just simply because it's got that privy. So, what did I pay for this little koala, you may be asking yourself? Well, here it is, right? Front and center. I would have showed y'all the slip, but they didn't send one to me. But anyways, I bought it from Liberty Coin for just under 130 bucks. Now, I use my PayPal, MasterCard, cash back, blah, blah, blah. I get 3% cash back, plus sometimes a bonus percentage depending on what kind of deals Atmex is having but regardless that's what I paid all right and so because of that I was able to pick these or this latest coin up for lower than what I normally have my limit still set at right I'm still every single one ten ounce coin I've bought in platinum has been under 130 okay now maybe I bought one for 131 at some point but with the cash back of three percent you know that's gonna drop back down below 130. So technically speaking, I've never spent more than 130 on a 1/10 ounce platinum coin, except for my one eagle that y'all know I have, but that was a one-off scenario that I got for extremely low premium, considering it's an eagle. But regardless, staying on topic, what's going on here, right? We see all precious metals going down, and I made a video recently talking about how bad performance is a good thing, right? It's a good thing because it helps accumulation. It helps us in the accumulation phase. It really does. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to see that because they don't like to see the money that they put in over the past year, two years, three years, or whatever, when they've seen everything go up, all of a sudden come down a little bit. But that's all right because it's time to accumulate more. Unless you're at the very end of your lifespan and you're about to just, I'll see y'all later, I'm headed up to the the, the place upstairs or, or, well, I hope nobody's going downstairs, but regardless... <laughs> If you find yourself at the very end of your life, um, there should be, I, I would hope, there's more, more you're concerned with than you, the value of your stack. You know, I hope you're concerned with making sure your loved ones are taken care of or, or, or that you at least get to say goodbye or what have you. So hopefully none of y'all are there. But if you are, I hope your priorities are more than just, oh man, my stack is worth less. <laughs> but for those of us who aren't, really that close and every day is a blessing you never know when your time's going to be but for those of us who are most likely not close to death's door uh this is a good thing because this is good for the accumulation phase of stacking platinum right we can add more to the stack we can stack more and more and more and it's not that big of a deal and then what 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 do we know that happens over time right people want to look at what happened this month in november uh, and say, well, that's just, it, everything's all hunky-dory and all good and fine and dandy or whatever. 
But the thing about it is, if we look at history, there's been good times and bad times and then good times and then bad times. What comes after a good time? A bad time. What comes after a bad time? A good time. What comes after a good time? A bad time. And so on and so forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? We see this over the entirety of history. No matter what you believe, no matter what your politics are, who you vote for, nothing. We see good, we see bad. We see good, we see bad. Until the absolute end of the world, that's what we're going to keep on seeing. So with that being said, if you stack now while the price is low, if you believe it'll only be low for four years, if you believe it'll only be low because a certain person is running your country, uh, if you only believe it'll be low because certain things are going on, those things, those people, those whatever, aren't going to be there forever, right? It's going to go a different route that maybe you don't want. It just is. That's how history works. So with that being said, stack, 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 stack until you can't stack anymore, especially at a time such as this. So I just wanted to say that to encourage all of y'all and, and hope that none of y'all get too discouraged about certain things going on or what have you. I've seen too many people get out of stacking because they just can't really make it. Um, you know, they just, they just say, oh man, I'm seeing everything go to the heck in a handbasket with as far as my stack. I'm getting out of it. Don't do it. It's a bad mistake, all right? It's just not good. Precious metals will always have value, no matter if it's platinum, silver, or gold. And so, yeah, you got to be thinking about that. So, that's all I have for y'all today. Thanks so much for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. As a short little bonus, we'll take one of our gold koalas and compare and contrast it to the new platinum right we don't have the 2024 gold i haven't even seen the 2024 gold for sale let me know in the comment section down below if you have um but yeah we've got our 2024 and we have our 2023 so well 2023 or 2020 man i'm getting these dates mixed up real bad 2023 gold koala and 2024 platinum again we have the ring around queen elizabeth and the uh, dates of her reign and then we have King Charles so that's pretty interesting I'm super stoked to have this gold one and then platinum ones because there won't be any queen anymore on the koalas so that's pretty cool but with all that being said once again I appreciate each and every one of y'all and I hope y'all are having a fantastic day today and I hope y'all have a great Thanksgiving so with all that being said until next time we'll see y'all <laughs>